Hello everyone, I am Siyakshita Udupa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you all one of the simplest and easy to use swing trade strategy. I had already shared uh, the indicators for swing trade with you all and that indicator can be used whoever have subscribed for the indicators and are using it can continue to use that but for those who cannot afford to buy the indicators can uh, check out this strategy which can work very well for swing trades. I have uh, already used some of the indicators in most of my intraday strategies. Today for swing trade, I am using the same indicators which is already used and tested by me for intraday strategy but I have tweaked it a little and uh, after the experiments, after doing lot of research, after doing the required changes to these indicators, I am using these indicators for swing trade also. Previously I had used super trade indicator for one of the intraday strategy. I will leave the link of that video in the description, you can check that out. This strategy worked very well and most of them have used it and had already commented telling that it's working very well. So I have tweaked it a little and I have uh, reframed this uh, swing trade strategy also. So one of the indicators that I'm using here is super trend. This indicator is actually plotted above or below the closing price to actually signal buy or sell. If the super trend turns out to be green, that means you can go for buying. And if the super trend turns out to be red, that means you can go for selling. Uh, now, Along with this uh, indicator, I have also included pivot. Again, pivot indicator is something which I have used in most of my intraday strategies and uh, which works very well. And even in my indicator, I have uh, used this pivot levels which will work in the back end and give you the uh, results. But uh, here, what we are doing is we are not directly using the pivot. Instead, we are using Fibonacci in pivot. So whenever uh, you use a pivot indicator in any portal for that matter, you will get uh, an option to select between traditional and Fibonacci. So today we are using Fibonacci pivot to get uh, more accurate results. Pivot points are usually used to identify the trends and also the reversals. These are also used to get the support and resistance levels. So different people use pivot points in different ways. But yes, most of the professional traders will definitely use this pivot points because this is uh, something which will give a clear idea as to the trend and reversals. So uh, today let us use uh, the super trend indicator and pivot indicator and let us frame our swing trading strategy. Uh, again, when you uh, do swing trading, please try this on Nifty 50 stocks because Nifty 50 stocks are the one where you get good momentum. So now let us get into the chart and check how this works. Before that, if you are new into trading and want to open a DMAT account, then you can open it either with Zerodha, Upstock or Ellis Blue using my referral link. Uh, my referral link is given in the description. By clicking on that link, you can open an account. If you open an account with this referral link, that is my referral link, then you will get free access to my Haikanashi course. Also, you can check out my other courses that is price action course, option course and a combo course which will include both of this uh, on my website www.caakshataudupa.com. You can also check out my swing trade indicator which I was mentioning earlier and you will get that also uh, in my website www.caakshataudupa.com. I have taken uh, Axis Bank for this example. This is a uh, Axis Bank chart. Now let us uh, check how this uh, strategy works for this particular stock. So I am using daily time frame over here. Uh, again, uh, as I said, I had already used super trend indicator in some of my strategies. But um, the most of the complaints that is received is that it is sometimes a lagging indicator when you use it in the shorter time frame. So today for this strategy, we are using this indicator in a longer time frame that is daily time frame. Okay, so you just have to go to indicators over here and type super trend. So you will get a lot of them uh, in the trading view portal. So under technicals, you can select this super trend. This is the one which I use. Okay, so the moment you plot it, you can see the green and red lines over here. So this green line indicates the upward movement. So you can look for buying opportunity and the red line indicates the downward movement. You can look for shorting opportunity. Now we also need another important indicator that is pivot points. So I will add that as well. So here, as soon as you type pivot point in the trading view portal, you can find pivot point standard. So just select that. And here it will be by default traditional. 
you just have to go to settings over here and here under inputs type change it from traditional to Fibonacci there are many uh, things available that is traditional Fibonacci uh, classic Camarilla and uh, if you remember for nifty I had made a strategy based on pivot Camarilla which again worked very well and most of them used it and gave uh, positive results so here for swing trade we are using another effective uh, pivot that is Fibonacci pivot so change it to Fibonacci and then select ok now your pivot lines will change traditional pivot uh, will be different and when you select Fibonacci it will be more precise so now let us see how this strategy works so first you have to check for other green signal in the super trend so you can see in many places we got uh, green signs right so as soon as you get the green signal like this you will have to check which candle crosses and closes above R1 so if the candle that is daily candle closes above R1 then you are going to take the trade on the next day on the next day also don't take immediately as soon as the market opens let the market settle a little bit after that you can take the trade now if you take the trade somewhere at this point the next day that is if you take the trade at around 920 ish then you can see this is a R1 line and you can see the R3 line over here so from here till here you can expect the stock to move so your target will be somewhere near R3 and your stop loss will be just below this R1 keeping some small buffer so stop loss will be below R1 and target will be at R3 so you can see 1 is to 1.5 uh, target is easily met okay and uh, you can see that this happened in immediate uh, next two days itself right so in most of the cases the target is met within uh, around four five days so it will not take too long for you if you are a swing trader and don't want to hold it too long like for a month or so then you can check out this this strategy wherein your target can be met easily again if you uh, want to hold for more like say up to five percent then you can do that but uh, the safest way is to exit at r3 again you have to uh, make a note that if you see one single candle breaking both r1 and r2 and closing above r2 then don't take that trade you have to ignore that stock because stock would have given a big movement by then and maybe the chances of stock reversing is more so if the stock closes between r1 and r2 then only you are going to take the trade if the stock breaks r2 and uh, closes above r2 then you are not going to take the trade similarly here if we check here you can see the stock uh, just crossed pivot but it did not reach r1 right so here in the month of november we didn't get the trade in the month of december we got the trade again here if we check in the month of october uh, the stock gave a clear break breakout from r1 and from there it easily reached till r3 so here your rr ratio is also uh, very good so the stock broke r1 and closed above r1 at this level that is on around 20th october there if you had taken the trade till r3 and your stop loss will be just below this r1 so uh, you got around uh, 1 is to 1.7 around okay the rr ratio was also good over here if we go back a little bit and check here again uh, we got the trade at this point somewhere at this point and r3 was here again uh, around 1 is to 2 rr ratio is easily met so everywhere make a note that uh, the stock has to give a breakout from r1 super trend should be green and the stock should close between r1 and r2 only then you are going to take the trade here it gave a breakout from r1 but it didn't reach till r3 what happened it just went till r2 and then reversed so here what you can do is you had taken the trade over here right at this level so here i'll just show you here though we got the entry at this point at r2 the stock reversed what you can make out is from here you got a uh, negative super trend right super trend color turned out to be red so what you can do is as soon as you see a red super trend coming in you can directly exit without waiting for the stop loss to get hit that is another way of minimizing your loss so uh, let's check one more day here again we got r1 breakout right we got the breakout over here from r1 and the stock easily went up to r3 
giving around 1 is to 3 as risk reward ratio. So like this you can check on uh, different nifty 50 stocks. Let us check one more say for uh, okay, Bajaj financial service. So if we check here in the, in the month of January we saw that the stock fell. So we cannot uh, do shorting in swing trade. So we are just going to ignore in the month of January we didn't get any trades. In the month of December we didn't get any trades. Again in the month of November we didn't get any trades here. Uh, everywhere the super trend is red so we are not going to touch this. Here in the month of September you can see it gave a breakout from R1 uh, right in the first day itself. But you can see it was almost close to R2. The stock reached uh, close to R2. Also make note that the stock has to close between R1 and R2 and also the high should not be very close to R2. Here stock has already come till R2. So we are not going to take the trade. Next here if we check in the month of August again uh, it gave a clear breakout and you can see there is a very good gap between R1 and R2. Again as I said for any strategy it cannot be completely uh, mechanical. You will have to put in some of your thoughts over here. In this case if you check we got a very good breakout over here right but if I keep the stop loss just below this and if I keep the target you can see it is so far it's almost 8 times. Risk reward ratio is coming to uh, 1 is to 8 which is again uh, not that logical right. So what you can do is you can keep your RR at 1 is to uh, 2 or 1 is to 3 and here you can see 1 is to 4 is easily met right. Uh, so when the RR ratio is too much don't go beyond 1 is to 3 to be on a safer side keep it at, at 1 is to 3 or R3 whichever is closer or again super trend turning to red whichever is early you are going to exit. Uh, if we check one more stock that is BPCL here you can see uh, the stock already touched R2 so we are not going to take the trade there and for the second time it gave a breakout over here you can see it is very close to R1 and closed above R1 so here if you take the trade easily till R3 the stock moved. Next if we check here it didn't break R1 that is in the month of September then in the month of October it was in the downtrend and again in the month of November it gave a clear a breakout of R1 but you can see over here the stock broke R1 and R2 on the same day and closed above R2. So we are not going to take the trade here as well. Next you can see uh, here it gave a breakout from R1 and we got the entry here but you can see the stock was at the same place for 3 days and then immediately we saw a red super trend line coming in. So we are going to exit almost at cost. Again if we check one more stock, uh, HDFC life. So here if you see it gave breakout from R1 but it's very close to R2 so not a great thing to uh, consider. And everywhere the stock was in the downtrend over here. Here again we didn't get the entry. Here the stock didn't close above R1. So you have to check for the history of the stocks. Few stocks will be continuously giving you very good entries. And few stocks will be continuously not giving you the entries. So you have to see which are the stocks that will continuously respect this particular uh, strategy. That is which will uh, fulfill all the conditions most of the times. Those stocks you can keep in your watch list and keep monitoring those stocks. Now as I said in Access Bank and in Bajaj Finance you can see we got the entries again and again and those were very good entries. But if you check here in HD HDFC life insurance rarely we got the entries right so you have to just check which stock is good which stock is in the rally mode when the stock is in the rally mode you will get frequent entries because every time there will be a pullback and then again stock will start moving in the upward direction so once if you are able to uh, get those good stocks in your list then easily you will get the entries and here as I said we have three conditions for exit uh, so we will make early exits and the chances of uh, you know taking the losses will be very less so yeah this was all about this strategy if you like this please please give it a like so that it will motivate me to do more and more research and post more of more and more educational content for you all if you have not yet joined my free telegram channel that is udupa finance then please join because here i will be sharing everything that i know and if you are watching this video without subscribing then please subscribe and also don't forget to press that bell icon i will be back again with some informative content very soon till then take care bye bye Bye.